Hi, I'm Dave. In my business, customer relationships are critical. So if a customer asks me if I've received a payment, I need a quick way to answer his question. Did I hear somebody call for a trainer? Hi, Kim. Hey, I was wondering, what's the fastest way for me to see if I've received a payment from a customer? Go to the Customer Management Center. You can use the Receipts section to view a customer's payment history. What if the customer wants a list of all the invoices that I've sent? Use the Sales Invoices section and email him the list as a PDF file. Okay. What if the customer wants to make a phone payment by credit card? Just right-click on the Receipts window, select Add a New Receipt, then select the invoice to be paid and record the payment. Nice. And where exactly is the Customer Management Center? <laughs> it's in the Customers and Sales area. Just click on the Customer Management tab. What if the Customer Management Center doesn't show me all the info I need? Then you can add and remove sections by clicking Customize This Page. In fact, everyone can have their own customized layouts. For example, if you're in Billing and Collections, you'll probably want to see different information than someone in Sales. You might want to see what the customer owes, which invoices are passed to, and how to contact the customer. While a salesperson might want to see quotes, item sales history, and sales totals. Okay, so everyone can get their own unique layout of the Customer Management Center. Exactly. Now, what if I want to track information that's unique to my particular company? Let me show you. Just edit your customer information, and then use the customizable fields on the Customers and Prospects screen to track information specific to your business. You define what these fields show. For example, which services the customer receives, how they were referred to the company, or the year they started doing business with your company. And here it comes, wait for it. You can add these customized fields to the Customer Management Center. This could be my mission control. Actually, some people use the Customer Management Center so frequently that they make it their default Sage 50 homepage. You can always edit any of the detailed customer information from here. Got it, which is good since I'm out of sticky notes. I think the Customer Management Center will really help me stay on top of my customer relationships. That's the idea. And if you missed anything in your notes, you can download cheat sheets using the links below this video.